Have you ever thought to yourself, wow, I'm really effed up. Like I'm really messed up and I need help. I totally get it. We've all been there before where we all question our mental health and our own mental integrity and, and on a scale of like zero to totally effed up, like where we fall on that scale. There's some days that seem really, really good and, and we're like, okay, things, things are okay, things are going well. And then life happens, challenge happens. And all of a sudden we just feel like total complete messes. And I totally get it. This is the balance of life. And I'm going to share a concept with you, which is going to help you embrace the fact that you're okay. And this is also going to show you really how mentally healthy you are. And if you're not mentally healthy based on this concept, how you can inch into being even more mentally healthy to be uh, higher functioning to function at a really high level and be your best self, not for other people, but for you, my friend. We want you to be the best you for you, Cupcake. So let's do this. Uh, hey, if you're new to me, welcome to the conversation. I'm Dan Candell. I'm known worldwide as the Anxiety Relief Guy. I help high functioning, ambitious people who have high functioning anxiety. Many of them don't even know it because the anxiety doesn't really manifest as panic attacks. It manifests as things like people pleasing, second guessing themselves, second guessing every decision they make, doubting themselves. And guess what? They're pretty high functioning. They achieve great things in spite of all that other stuff. Even imposter syndrome bubbles in for these people every once in a while, even though they've achieved and accomplished some really great things. Performance anxiety is another way that um, anxiety affects high functioning people. So if you are not new to me, Welcome back. It's great to have you here as part of the conversation again. Now, I just filmed a video and posted it um, all about like what happens when things are okay. What should you work on when things are okay? Should you work on things when things are going okay? So if you haven't caught that video, go back and watch that video or listen to that last episode that I posted. Uh, you'll get some insight from it. But there are these three concepts that I want to talk about today that are going to help show you what you can move towards even in times of struggle and suffering. So here it is. Mentally healthy people have a perception and the perception is more of an unconscious perception. It happens more of an, on an unconscious level, but this is what it is. I'm okay, you're okay. So when we have this view of the world, like, hey, no matter what happens, I'm okay, you'll be okay, we'll be good, that's a really menti, ment, I'm, I'm menti. That's, a, that's a real mentally healthy viewpoint to have. And people say, well, when does, when does this come out? Like, when does the I'm okay, you're okay come out? And it's really your viewpoint of the world. Like, when you look around you and you see people who might be a little like, um, or like, for example, I go to the grocery store and at the grocery store, there is a person there who dresses in very exuberant makeup. And this person has a lot of, um, colorful makeup on. And I hear people like snickering about that person. That person's effed up. That person's messed up. Like they're, they're not okay. I'm like, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. They're not okay according to what, you ass clown? Like, <laughs> let's not judge. Like, they're not, they're not okay according to who, you? Like, are you okay? And I'm like, they're okay. Like, look at them. They're okay. You're okay. You do you. All right. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm, it's like towards the end of my day, I have two more clients. I get to go out to dinner with one of my friends. I need a coffee. So I'm going to get a coffee after this video. Anyway, back on track. Okay, veering off. So the first mentally healthy viewpoint to have is I'm okay, you're okay. Uh, there's another perception, another viewpoint, which is not always healthy to have. Um, in fact, it's, this is not really a healthy perception to have. And it is you're okay, but I'm not okay. And to go a step further, you're okay, you'll be okay, but I'm not okay, I'll never be okay. And many people that... I've worked with in the past who are more on the lower functioning side of anxiety because anxiety is it's like a spectrum. Many people who I've worked with in the past who are very low functioning, they had that perception about themselves, that point of view, like everybody else is okay, but I will, I will 
never be okay. I'm not okay. Like I'm, I'm so below the grade where I want to be that I don't think I'll ever be able to get past this. And, and that is not the best perspective to have. That, that's a really toxic point of view to have about oneself. And what we have to do is get them out of that by showing them small little wins. And to show them that every little win they have can mean the world and can launch them into a total different direction. I think it was Tony Robbins who used the analogy, if you hit a golf ball a fraction of a millimeter off to the left, over the trajectory of the ball, it's going to go completely to the left even though you just hit it a fraction of a millimeter. And our life can be like that too. If you make this one little teeny tiny adjustment, you have no idea how profound it can be in other areas of your life. Here, I call it the domino effect. Like, let's knock over one domino and that's all we're gonna knock over and we're gonna see how many other dominoes that's going to knock over. So these are, these are some, just some things to be aware of. So viewpoint number one, I'm okay, you're okay. That is the most healthy viewpoint to have. Viewpoint number two, you're okay, I'm not okay. That is not a healthy viewpoint to have. And some of you watching might have that viewpoint and I'm telling you right now, that's where we wanna focus on making really small wins and celebrating those wins and accomplishments, even if it's for like just a couple of minutes, right? We wanna celebrate that. And number three, the third perspective is this, and this is one of the most unhealthy perspectives to have in my opinion and of what I've seen. And it's also very difficult to help people in this perspective. And this perspective is, I'm okay, you're not okay, I'm more okay than everybody else. And that's not a great perspective to have because it puts you in a position of superiority and you don't necessarily deserve to be there if you have that perspective. And my grandmother, she had this saying, I'm all right, the world's all wrong. <laughs> and she used to say that when, when she made a mistake or when kind of to make fun of herself is uh, she dropped something. Like I remember one time she dropped something and after she dropped it, she goes, I'm okay, I'm okay. The world's all wrong, I'm okay. <laughs> and we'd laugh about it. That's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about where people really perceive themselves to be superior over everyone else and they have a, superior, a superiority complex. So the people that say, I'm okay, I'm more okay than everybody else, those people have a superiority complex. The people who say, you, um, uh, you're okay, I'm not okay, they have an inferiority complex, inferiority complex, where they feel inferior to everyone else. And we want a really good healthy balance. Now there are some days where you might look out at the world and you might say, what the F happened to the world? <laughs> like, am I the most functioning person here on earth? There are some days you might feel like that. And again, we're not talking about like burst of, of, of moments or a couple of days where you feel like this. We're talking about on average, you feeling like this on average. There's also like if, if you wake up one day and you have a pretty shitty day, and you say, oh my gosh, I'm not okay. Like, I'm not okay today. Like everybody else, they appear to be so much higher functioning than me right now, I'm, I'm not okay. And days feel like a struggle. Again, that's okay to feel like that. It doesn't mean that you're destined for a downward spiral of doom and gloom for the rest of your life. But if you get stuck in that perspective for a long time, and that becomes your only perspective, that's when you know, oh shit, like this, probably ain't great. And you want to work towards the perspective, I'm okay, you're okay. Like, I'm gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay. No matter what happens, we're gonna be okay and the world is going to keep spinning. And that's one of the most mentally healthy perspectives to have. Um, I learned about this concept from many people, so I really don't know where it originated, but I've learned it from many people and I've heard many uh, people talk about it. So this is where you want to work more towards generally having that perspective of I'm okay, you're okay, like we're going to be okay no matter what happens. We're going to be okay and we're going to work to be better than okay. So the more okay you are, the more okay other people around you can be, right? Because 
when you rise tides, all tides rise around you. That's what you want to happen. So with that said, my friends, um, hey, guess what? <laughs> Just because you're watching this video, it means you are on the step up to being even better. And this is where if you need my help, all you have to do is reach out. Uh, I have an amazing community where people who join the community, they're making wins, they're having more good days than bad days, they're making more achievements and accomplishments, they're getting raises in their jobs, they're getting promotions, they're working their way up the ladder, and life just seems easier when you're working towards it. So if you want that to happen for you, link is right down below this video that is going to help you check out the community and check out what we got going on to help you so that way you can join my collective because the collective of individuals we're all working together to create the best version of you with that said thank you for joining as always make sure you rate follow subscribe leave a comment to share with people that you feel can benefit from this message and as always my friends be well do good be true to who you are and happy healing bye for now